So the, one of the, uh, the points that was absolutely uh, stressed by everybody during this meeting was that if we go back to nine, after 9-11, there was a report that was issued that indicated that terrorists getting fraudulent travel documents were a huge problem as far as uh, security of our country. And right now, with this green light law, uh, one of the problems is that there is no integrity to the documents that New York State can supply anymore when our federal government is blocked from knowing what documents have been supplied and from what, what information has been given. They're totally blocked out of it, or at least ICE and uh, Border and Customs and Border. Now, while the, while the FBI can get information, they've signed a non-disclosure, they've signed a non-disclosure agreement that, uh, that they won't give the information to, to ICE or Customs and Border, or they will be blocked out by New York State. So interestingly enough, we've got two branches of the federal government that can't even speak to each other. What it comes down to, basically, is you've got these officers on the ground, either on boats on Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, whatever other body of water that's um, international. Uh, you've got officers on the ground at the border crossing points. If they go to approach a boat, they need to approach, or a car is approaching them, or a truck to cross over at the border, and it has a New York plate or registration, they can't even get any information as to who the owner of the vehicle is from DMV. So um, car stops are some of the most dangerous stops for any law enforcement officer, and we're putting our federal agents at a point where they're going into stops blind. They have no idea if the vehicle has been stolen, if the person driving it has a warrant, uh, and it's only, they honestly believe it's only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt or killed because of this law and their lack of information to be prepared to do their jobs. It was really frightening to hear them describe.